Hey guys, I'm Jake from todaysiphone.com and here's what's going on this week. Now I want to tell you about a bunch of awesome giveaways that are happening in the month of December. Today's iPhone is giving away a bunch of awesome prizes. Now this ranges from Bluetooth accessories to cases to skins, and it's not just for the iPhone 4 and the iPad. We also have old school giveaways too for those older generation devices. All you have to do to be entered into the contest is to like today's iPhone on Facebook, and then when you see a prize you like on the wall, you just comment TIP me under it, and then you're automatically entered to win that prize. Now keep in mind that these giveaways end on December 18th, so you should go you know, do that as soon as possible. And as a bonus, by liking today's iPhone on Facebook, you're also entered into the Phone Dog 100 iPad giveaway contest. And to increase your chances to win an iPad, you should like Phone Dog on Facebook, today's iPhone, Droid Dog, Beeberry Dog, Timo News, you know, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle. I never understood what that expression meant. And the drawing for the winners of the iPads is on January 28th. Kit and caboodle. Okay, now on to the news. Okay, now first, I have some good news for anybody out there in the jailbreak community. It seems that Apple has stopped work on the jailbreak detection API. Now what this would have done is alerted either Apple or if your phone is issued by a company then alert the company that your phone was jailbroken. However, after only six months of working on the project, Apple has reportedly scrapped the idea. Now Apple's made no official comment about any of this, but it seems as though they realized that trying to create an unhackable API is basically impossible. Now that's not to say that there won't be any sort of jailbreak detection in the future, but as of right now, this is just one more thing out of the way to make it easier for people to jailbreak their devices. Okay, moving on, I have some very interesting news regarding the second generation iPad. There have been a bunch of leaks this week about reported second generation iPad cases. Now these are all pretty standard iPad cases except for one thing. There is a cutout for a back facing camera on the back of the cases. Now normally I wouldn't think twice about something like this because it's so easy to Photoshop or just make a case for a device that doesn't exist. But if you remember, a couple months before the iPhone 4 was announced, a bunch of cases for that device got leaked and they were pretty accurate to the final product. Now lending further credence to this iPad 2 story is a story coming out of DigiTime saying that Foxconn, Apple's production partner, is preparing to ship between 400,000 and 600,000 iPad 2s to Apple within the next 100 days and they should arrive sometime around February. Now following the timeline of Apple product releases, the iPad 2 would probably be launched sometime in April. Now I want to know what you guys think. Do you believe these stories and that the iPad 2 could be on its way? Or do you just think that these stories are fuel for the rumor mill? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, now moving on, in app news, a couple weeks ago I told you guys about an email that Cam got from the developers behind the very popular iOS game Real Racing. And it basically said that the next version of the game would be out sometime soon, but it didn't give any specific details. Well, this week we have those details. Real Racing 2 will be coming to the App Store on December 16th for $9.99. Now this game has a laundry list of awesome features and I'm not going to read them all out to you here, so if you're interested, go to the post on todaysiphone.com. But just to give you a little insight, this game features 30 officially licensed cars, 5 game modes including online multiplayer, and 15 racing locations with over 40 miles of detailed track. So look out for this game in the App Store soon. Okay, next, in news that would have been really, really awesome, Four months ago, it seems that the white iPhone 4 is finally going to become available in the spring of 2011. According to a story from 9to5Mac, Apple stores have been getting new signs that confirm that the white iPhone 4 will be available in the spring. But honestly, does anybody care anymore? I feel like at this point, everybody had either caved and purchased a black iPhone 4 or went for some other device. And I'm also really confused because that seems pretty close to the launch of iPhone 5. But I guess better late than never. Okay, and finally, Cam takes a look at a way to watch Flash videos in your mobile Safari web browser without jailbreaking your device or downloading a separate application. Step-by-step -step directions on how to do this are in the post on todaysiphone.com, but basically all you have to do is add a certain bookmark to your Safari web browser, and that should enable you to view Flash videos right in your Safari web browser. This is just another tool in the fight against Apple who's fighting against Flash. Hope it helps. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you have any comments or questions on anything I talked about in this video, you can follow me on Twitter, at TIPJake, and I will answer your questions to the best of my abilities. Oh, and remember, for more news, views, and reviews, don't forget to check out todaysiphone.com.